For years, rendering has been the slowest part of 3D production. Even with powerful hardware, calculating light, shadows, reflections and materials can take a lot of time. So studios build render farms and 3D artists use tricks like baking on proxies to keep projects moving. But AI now is part of the workflow, helping with tasks like denoising, texture cleanup and generating quick starting points. So now, rendering is moving from pure computation to a process assisted by these tools. And to see how this shift is taking place, let's take a look at six render engines, including V-Ray, Corona Render, Inkscape, Blender Cycles, Lumion, and D5 Render, and compare how each one integrates AI to change production workflows. As you may know, V-Ray has been around for decades as a production render engine across architecture, design, and VFX. It is great for balancing speed and realism because it is often used in pipelines where accurate lighting and materials are very important. So its AI features aim to speed up heavy workloads rather than reinvent them. The AI Denoiser is the most direct example, cleaning noisy frames mid-rendering without losing detail. This is especially valuable in complex interior or high-poly scenes, where early previews would otherwise take too long to resolve. Recent versions have also added AI-based tools, such as the Material Generating System, which uses AI to create starting point for realistic shaders, in addition to an AI enhancer that adjusts details in renders for sharper outputs. On the other hand, Corona Render has historically been CPU-focused, with optional GPU acceleration, but version 13 expands GPU support through Vantage Lifelink, enabling real-time previews and GPU-accelerated animation rendering. It is widely used in architecture and design visualization, where photorealistic output and ease of use are the priorities. Its approach has always been artist-friendly, removing technical barriers while keeping high image quality. AI tools in this render engine are kind of more limited compared to some competitors, but still impactful. The built-in Intel AI Denoiser provides fast and reliable cleanup during both interactive rendering and final output, and this basically reduces the need for high sample counts. Beyond denoising, the team has been experimenting with AI-assisted tone mapping and exposure adjustments, helping balance images automatically. While not as extensive as AI-driven or vegetation systems, these tools still fit into Corona's philosophy. I mean the philosophy of reducing manual tweaks. Now we're gonna talk about Cycles, which is Blender's physically based path tracer, used in everything from indie projects to large-scale productions. It kind of balances realism with open source accessibility, making it a good option for Blender users. Its AI tools focus on making rendering fast and clean. The first major step was denoising, with NVIDIA Optics and Intel Open Image Denoise both integrated to clean up noisy frames during previews and final renders. In Blender 5.0 Alpha, DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling, was added, letting artists upscale renders in real time, of course with AI while keeping performance responsive. These AI-driven improvements don't replace Cycle's physically accurate rendering, but they make it more efficient. So by handling noise reduction and resolution scaling intelligently, AI allows artists to focus on creative decisions instead of waiting for long hours to see the final render, or even previews for that matter. Now let's talk about something different with Inkscape, which is built for real-time architectural visualization. So its use of AI leans more toward concept generation and refinement than traditional offline rendering. Two features highlight this direction. Veras, which is an AI image generator linked directly to the viewport, and the Kios AI Enhancer, which handles post-processing in the cloud. Veras lets designers generate alternative moods, compositions, and material ideas from the scene, I mean the one they are working on. Instead of exporting or rebuilding geometry, they can test variations in just seconds, guided either by presets or custom text prompts. This makes it particularly useful in the early design phase, when rapid iteration matters most. Once the final image is rendered, the Kios AI Enhancer processes everything through cloud services. Here, AI sharpens edges 
cleans noise and improves vegetation, surfaces and human figures. Lumion is also built for real-time visualization, but its recent updates aim to bring offline quality rendering closer to interactive speed. The 2025 version introduces AI Upscaler, which sharpens images and reduces noise in both previews and final outputs. This makes it easier to generate presentation quality results without waiting on long render passes. Most of Lumion's scenes building features remain rooted in procedural tools and photogrammetry assets, rather than generative AI. Vegetations, reflections, and lighting can be set up quickly, using its large library and automated systems. Given designers control while avoiding repetitive manual work, features like volumetric ray traced fog and expanded ray tracing support further improves realism in complex interiors and atmospheric scenes. AI also supports optimization through Lumion Scene Inspector and Performance Center. These tools analyze assets, detect performance issues, and automatically adjust settings, allowing artists to focus on creative choices while the engine handles technical balancing in the background. Compared to the others, D5 Render is new, but its AI strategy is much broader. It's the first real-time rendering software to integrate AI tools for architecture, interior, and landscape design. Rather than just using AI for denoising or upscaling, D5 integrates it into nearly every stage of the workflow. Version 2.11 now offers over 10 AI-powered features for faster and more creative workflows. For materials, D5 2.11 introduces AI PBR Material Snap, which can instantly generate ready-to-use materials from a specific area of the whole image. For textures, AI Ultra HD Texture, AI Make Seamless, and AI Generated Texture Maps enhance textures by restoring detail, removing seams, and creating extra maps automatically. AI Agent, including Smart Planting, Plant Schedule, and D5 Bot, is a new game changer in 2.11 for vegetation design enabling you to turn a blank site into an adaptive, climate-aware landscape plant in seconds. On the environment side, AI Atmosphere Match adjusts lighting and sky conditions to match any reference image. Finally, in post-production, features like AI Enhancer, AI InPaint, and AI Style Transfer make it easy to refine details and elevate visual style, or without jumping between different tools. This range shows how D5 treats AI, not as an add-on, but as a foundation built into the workflow. And looking across all these engines, you can tell that AI plays a different role depending on the tool. Some use it mainly for denoising or upscaling, while others focus on performance during rendering. D5, on the other hand, treats AI more than just an add-on, because it is designed as a system from the ground up to guide the entire process, covering materials, textures, vegetation, environment, and post-production or without the need for extra plugins. This makes it possible to complete an environment project inside one tool, with AI actively reducing the manual steps along the way. Now, I want to be clear about something. This video is actually sponsored by D5, but I genuinely think that it is the closest thing that we have right now to a preview of where the future of AI tools, especially in rendering, is heading. D5 integrates the AI workflow in a way that gives you faster setup, fewer repetitive tasks, and more time to focus on creativity and storytelling, rather than just improving one isolated part of the pipeline. But what do you think? I would love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. And if you want to try it for yourself, you can click the link in the description and test D5 Render for free. Then let me know what you think. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.